chase this B0340, this cam sensor position malfunction. And uh, let me get you a shot. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is go to the cam sensor, see if we have a signal. So I'm back probed here on this cam, cam sensor. And we do have a cam signal. So the next thing, um, with this, we don't have to verify our ground. We don't have to verify our five volt reference. Um, we can go straight to the computer and do a check there. So I'm now back at the ECM. Yellow lead is my cam sensor. I threw the green one in there. That is my crank. And we do have a cam signal at the computer. So I'm gonna turn my second channel on. around here. Sorry about the glare. So I do have a cam and crank signal. Um, another possibility is that this timing chain is stretched and my cam could be in the wrong position. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll zoom real close in on this waveform. That might even be close enough. And I'll let that buffer go through. We'll stop it, we'll zoom out. And now what we have is a cam and crank correlation. And what we need is a known good one to compare to. Um, it is possible, this, I think this thing has 100 and some thousand miles, a lot of miles on this. It's possible it could be a stretch timing chain and could be done and change the guides. So I'm gonna look for a no good cam crank waveform and we'll go from there. All right guys, I have the saved waveform from Tony's car, our uh, cam and crank. Yellow trace is my cam signal, green trace is my crank signal, and in between my two cursors I have 720 of the crank. Two rotations of the crank is one rotation of the cam. So, uh, I want to focus on this first crank sync. Um, we have, with the cam signal, two big teeth, and then two small teeth, and then two big teeth again. I want to focus on this second big tooth where it crosses over this crank sync. And I just want to zoom in a little bit on that. And what it looks like is we are one, two, three, four, five, say five teeth in between this and the center of this crank sink. And I was able to locate uh, two known good cam crank sinks. So now that you've seen Tony's, uh, I will compare it to these known good ones that I found on IATN. All right, so here is the known good waveform that I got from IATN. So we have the, the same cam signal, the two big teeth, two small teeth, and then there would be two bigger teeth on this side. Um, but the waveform was just cut off. But all we need is 720. So we can go from here over to here, which would be one rotation of the cam. And we will focus in right here. So here is our big tooth where it crosses over this crank sink. And it's hard to gauge it, but it looks like maybe it is about one or two teeth. So this would confirm that our timing is off. And Tony needs a cylinder one injector, which he has to pull the intake back off. So while we have the intake off, we might as well pull the valve cover and do a visual timing check just to be 100% sure. Um, this pretty much confirms it, but um, if we're already pulling the intake, we might as well pull the valve cover. So uh, I'll see what he wants to do. 
All right, so we're back on Tony's Jetta. It's a 2002 VR6. Um, right now we are chasing the P0340 cam sensor fault. And based on our cam crank waveform, uh, what it looked like is that the timing was out. So we had Tony pull off the valve cover. And right now what we have, get us set up down here. Got our crank. It's hard to see the timing mark, but our mark is definitely lined up right there. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. So you can see our marks are lined up. Let me take you up to show you where our cams are. So here are our camshafts. And with the crank at top dead center, there are special tools that should lay flat on top of this cylinder head and basically line up with the notches of these cams. So we know we're at top dead center because the cams are offset, these notches inside the end of the cams and there are basically flat pieces that should slide right in there when this is at top dead center and we don't have the tools but just looking at it we can tell that both of these cams are shifted to the right and our t so that would tell us that our timing is definitely out so what Tony's gonna have to do is you know if he wants to put the money into it do a whole timing chain job but um, we verified this with uh, cam and crank we didn't really have to pull this apart but doing the injector we figure we might as well check it so definitely verified that our timing is out with the cam crank and we visually inspected it and it's definitely out so vehicle needs timing chains causing a PO340 cam sensor fault so I hope you guys enjoy this and thanks for watching